it could be a subset of confidential information it could be a subset of copyright also now a developer or a programmer writes a code you write something you write a letter you write a proposal you write a catalog which is important for pitching your business in the market where you write anything which is important obviously since you have written you get a copyright for it it's a create literary right you automatically get copyright but because this literary right has got industrial uh, applicability that is what i was talking about when we said that every domain is intermingled so every intellectual property is somewhere intermingled so it could be a subset of uh, a trade secret will again be a subset of copyright also how do we really know it it is not written in any of the statutes there are certain judgments the courts have observed and uh, if for every such judgment we can refer what has been the view of the courts while determining what all is a trade secret and every time trade secret will be making a burger is a trade secret for mcdonalds now obviously if the, the company is into software development and somebody steals their recipe of making a burger it is not a trade secret because they are not trading into burgers but if somebody steals mcdonalds recipe that is a theft of trade secret altogether so that is how from case to case basis applicability will differ and because of this diverse nature of trade secrets dynamic nature of trade secrets there has not been any codified statute as of now for trade secrets altogether